the cars are obviously so even, they try and have a homologated driver weight. So if you're under that, you ballast up the car. Or So they're saying 85 kilos is the minimum driver weight. So that's an average of the whole field. Look at this. Similar, isn't it? It's just <laughs> really struggling to find a way past, Aaron. We're running out of laps. Maybe this could be the lap. What's his approach like? It's like we've replayed each lap each time because he's... Oh, he's hit him! Contact made with oh. the leader. He sends him wide. Seaton to the lead. Vernon goes through. That'll be looked into. No doubt about it at all. Yeah, it's a shame because they've just been battling so close. The camera's vibrating, so he's got a, some vibration going on in that car. You're not seeing things. So I'd say the rear bumper's loose and just really that shaking tire, that tire, car. Left oh, rear, tire. left rear, it's gone down from that contact. So drama for Cameron Hill. Started from pole, led the race. It was high level driving, but a small touch with Aaron Seaton has cost him. This will be a trip to pit lane. And there's no way he's going to be able to finish that. He, needs, finish to lift the race. Out, he needs to lift out of this because this is not good stuff. He's going to step out of the way of the traffic, but he's still carrying a fair bit of speed on board with a left rear puncture. Oh, yeah, look. He's really trying to hang on to it, isn't he? He's going to get hit if he's not careful. So James Taylor is the race director. Matt Balcom, the investigating officer. So, and Greg Crick, the driving standards advisor. So they have all the system in place as any high-level championship. And no doubt they'll review that one. But it's a shame because it was, it was hard for Aaron Seaton, as you can see, to get past. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a little love tap here or there, but that one was more than a love tap, unfortunately. It really shifted him across the road. And you'd have to think that there will most likely be a penalty post-race for Aaron Seaton. Well, we'll deal with that post-race because right now we have one lap to go. The wind's on the line regardless of what happens in race control. Aaron Seaton, Jimmy Vernon, car off the road. Christopher Manley. Vernon's out of the toe. He's looking to the outside at turn one. He's going to hang with it. He's going to stick with this because it's the inside for the next corner. If he pulls this off, it's a good move. He's not quite there, but a very good attempt. Gee, that was really just a surprising move. I haven't seen that in these cars so far this weekend. So he tried it. Jimmy Vernon, and this would be amazing. I mean, realistically, he should know that there's going to be an investigation. So he doesn't need to ruin. He's going to try and finish this race for points. So what would have happened if he came in the lane? He may not have been classified. Vernon down the inside. There's a rub. He's in the gap. Can Aaron hang on? Because the inside for Siberia is what he'll have. They're going to go side by side. Does this bring Trent Grubel in? Does it bring Warren Luff in? Seaton hangs on for the moment. Vernon's going to stick with it around the outside and try to punch it off Siberia. The only real chance he's got left now, barring a mistake, is down the inside over Lukey Heights. Yeah, and that's he's certainly on. But I was just going to say, he's, he's potentially going to win this race anyway. So you don't want to end up in the gravel trap. But good on Jimmy Vernon. First race in Toyota 86, having a real crack at being the first across the line on debut. He may end up winning it anyway once we have that investigation, or most likely post-race. Seaton defends, though. Now, that will open up a run for Jimmy Vernon right into the toe. Final corner coming up. What a way to start a new season in the Toyota 86 Racing Series. We'll be taking it right around the country this year, supporting the Virgin Australia Supercars Championship. But at the island, it's delivered. Now, how close in the slipstream can Jimmy Vernon get? And how close is the finish line? It's an absolute sprint to the line. Aaron Seaton will have his nose in front when he gets there. The winning margin, one-tenth of a second. Not bad. Good start, isn't it? Trent Grubel uh, just dropped back a little bit, about second back for third. Luffy in for fourth. Damon Strongman across the line, top five. And uh, our second guest driver, Jason Barguana, in P6.